One principal responsibility of a green belt in terms of improvement is to be able to facilitate the what was sometimes called lean improvement activities of a work process team. One way to do this is to have a concentrated period where one goes through leading, leaning an organization's processes in a dedicated approach that occurs in a short period of time. This is called a Kaizen process blitz. Now, <clears throat> in the Demaic process, we have a very natural opportunity to go through and do this. Because after we've completed define, measure, and analyze, we understand a lot of the you know, hidden secrets about this process. We know where the waste is, we know where the losses are, and one way to create a quick gain is to focus the workers on correcting all of the things that we have seen that are wrong with the process, where we see losses, where we see waste, and where we see inefficiency. So when we do this, the idea is what we would like to do is facilitate the team through a very brief process. This involves the process owner, it engages the implementation team, and helps to assure that we can get some easy and early quick gains for improvement in the process. So it's not about uh, analyzing or proposing ideas anymore, it's about doing. A Kaizen Blitz operates with a low budget, it doesn't invest capital, it's basically moving things or streamlining processes in the way we organize the work that's done in the daily management system. It involves a collaborative worker management type of effort and the execution of many small projects to understand what's the right way to deal with this. How could we experiment? If we move this here, will it actually make things faster? If we do things this way, will it make things so that there's less stress on the worker? Rapid prototyping is the idea behind this. In less than five days, we try to make some sort of very important change happen. So what I'm going to share with you is a five-day format. This would be probably the longest one would consider doing a um, Kaizen Blitz if you are actually making a change probably to a whole production line. And so we'll go through each of these five days and talk about what's happening in each of those days. Now, my very strong recommendation is use a video camera. Take pictures and document the work that was done from the beginning in the first stage you have all the way through the end. Because in this way, you'll be able to clearly see what those improvements were. And workers will then have a very strong image of what not to revert to when they see the process has changed and they can observe the improvement in the outcomes. So what do we do on day one? On the first day, what we want to do is build knowledge about the method and the problem. This may not be required if you have experienced workers who've done this before. This is equivalent to the define and the measure phases in Demaic. So we choose an area to focus on. We get the team together. If we have to, we conduct a lean workshop and share them with them the tools that we're going to use in this process. We get people assigned to particular teams or groups to work on different aspects of the process. And then we walk the process. We do a gamble walk and brainstorm about the improvement ideas. Well, you may have done that already in the analyze and the measure phases. So then we have a create a, a plan for what we're going to do over the next couple of days of work. On the second day, we start early and we try to understand where is value being lost in the process? Again, we may have done this in the measure phase, which allows us to short circuit this type of work. We identify logical subgroups in the production cells. Again, we may have done this in the measure and the analyze phases. We measure time and value across the process. Again, we may have done this in the analyze phase. Calculate response to the pull signal. What is it that is telling this process to actually work? Is it an order from a customer? Is it, is it the arrival of a work order? What is it that's saying we need work to do? And then calculate the quality through the process using something like roll throughput yield. And that is the quality at each step in the process multiplied together to give us the overall right the first time through that whole process effect. And then document the lean performance baseline. Now we can see all of this work may actually have been done if we've been working in the analyze phase. And so what we're doing now is starting and ready to begin the improve phase. How do we begin? We start thinking about the first three S's of the 5S system. So we're sorting, systematizing, and sanitizing, and understanding how do we create better order in the work process. Day three then continues. We continue these 5S or the 3S housekeeping components 
identify lean improvement opportunities, subtracting non-value adding steps, initiating setup time reduction and changeover improvements, and then we experiment with flow and workflow balancing. If we get the workflow load right, then we have to take a look, what are the training implications in terms of the competence and capabilities of the workers in the process? And then we work on in reducing the inventory levels and improving material flow. Day four, we forget, we set up, complete these setup projects, the changeover and the 5S improvements, and then we start looking at post-improvement process performance. How do we measure this? How will we actually keep this process in a state of control? We'll provide forms and safeguards to mistake-proof the process. So maybe we're going to create some documentation for standard work processes or work instructions. We'll train operators in the revised methods and prepare a short presentation by the team to management that describes what's going on. And then finally on day five, we get the recommendation for improvement approved by the management and then celebrate this implementation process. And so perhaps we want to, at that point in time, write a story for the local newspaper or in the, the factory paper or the uh, company's uh, uh, human resources paper and then uh, celebrate the event perhaps with some cake and coffee or something like that. After that, management needs to get together and say, what went well? What needs improvement? Can we actually do this process better? And this is important in terms of the sustainment as a post-mortem analysis. What were the unique benefits we got out of this Kaizen Blitz? What lessons did we learn that we could do better the next time? And as you start looking at this over time, you're going to improve the quality at which you do this, and you'll abbreviate the period of time it takes. You can already see, if you've done a really good Demaic project, this probably only takes two days. If you haven't done really good work, it might take the full five days. So again, it's going to be dependent on where we are in our project, and it's going to be you as the green belt who's facilitating the work of the process doers or the process workers who are going to be the ones who are doing most of the work to get the process completed. So let's call that a close, and we're going to talk about the next top, type of opportunity we have for process improvement.